period chain? Not for these middle schoolers. Make it rain, pads! <laughs> when we bleed through now or ask for a pad, like, um, it's more normal. That's because these girls started a podcast about periods. We were about to go to lunch. I said, I'm on my period. She's like, oh, why didn't you tell me earlier? I'm just like, because we're in the middle of class and you said I couldn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> The 8th graders created the Shh Period podcast for an NPR competition, which they won. 67% of female students polled at Bronx Prep Middle School said that they feel uncomfortable discussing their periods at school. Ever since our podcast was released, talking about my period has been con has become such a normal topic now. And I can easily bring it up with the boys. The guys, they weren't like as freaked out as they used to be normally before the podcast. And like, that's like amazing. I even stopped carrying around a purse for my pad and I just carry my pad in my hand now because I don't feel so ashamed or embarrassed to carry my pad around anymore. It just feels so normal now. For women to not be able to afford period products, that there is a term for it, period poverty. Expenses of period products are outrageous and totally unfair. Low income women and homeless women don't get the proper care that they need. EBT, which is supposed to help low income women, doesn't cover period products. For many women in the Bronx, like my mother or my aunt, we have to use EBT to pay for our food. More states are now fighting for free menstrual products at school. After the release of our podcast, a lot of people have taken it to like Twitter to respond. There's, so I wanna use, I wanna... There's always like those people that are saying that we're drama queens or that this should be private. Ooh, magic. <laughs> That's the point we're making so that people won't have these opinions because we're trying to change that. The podcast has now been listened to over 11,000 times on SoundCloud. Now that you know what happens to us and that it's normal that other people around the world and other people in other schools and girls could start feeling like they're safe. It's just so nice to know that we're starting to be appreciated or like j just starting to not feel as much shame as we used to. As our tampons were harmed in the process of making this video. Do you know anyone making a difference in your community? Let us know. Message hashtag our stories.